Hey everyone, Ronaldo Wofferman of Master School Dances. And I want to talk to you about the latest edition as I'm in the middle of recreating my entire setup. I went to a whole coffin bay system. I'm waiting for my new reloops to come in. Uh, but now that I have the mixer the way I like it, the turntable set how I like it, and I'm waiting for my custom truss pieces to uh, be finalized so everything comes in through. The most important part is how do I hold my laptop? And this is something that a lot of people really don't put a lot of thought into. But really, when you think about it, we spend a lot of money on our laptops. You know, some of us spend anywhere from a thousand to thirty-five hundred dollars, especially if you are on a MacBook. And no matter, no matter how much you spend, you don't want that thing crashing down in the middle of the event, which is one of the problems anytime that you have some sort of laptop-based system. Uh, well, after doing a little bit of research, I went from my previous stand into something that was actually gonna be inside the coffin. I didn't want to hear in front of me because I don't like having what everybody calls Serato face, where they're like this the whole time and you're tempted to look at it. I like it off to the side, plus I'm short, so it allows me to see the dance floor in front of me. So what I chose is I chose the new G-Arm series, well, not really new, but too new to me, G-Arm series from Gator and Gator Cases. Now, they've got a couple different versions. They have one that clamps directly onto your table. This is really cool if you're gonna be using it in a permanent situation, like for your home or for your office. Um, and then they have the one that actually goes into their cases. Now, that's the one that I got. Now, even though this isn't a Gator case, it's very easy to modify this. And you're not really modifying it, but you're just adding an extra bolt to be able to mount it onto your case. So let's go ahead and look at what this is, what the benefits are, and how you can mount it inside any case. Now, the G-Arm comes in a few different pieces, and you've got tons of different configurations. So when you open it out of the box, it is gonna be intimidating. It's like, what did I get myself into? But once you see how it works together, super easy. First, you have the base. Now, the base is very simple because you have uh, adapters that goes into their cases or if you're going to mount it on your desktop or you know uh, on the side of your desk or whatever however when i want to mount it into my actual case or if i'm going to put it in the middle of the table or something what i did with mine there's a little plate at the bottom of this i just took that plate off put a bolt uh, in the middle of that plate and then drilled to through my actual case so now this is permanently secured inside my case it's strong enough that i could pick up my coffin from this alone you have this handy dandy little guy right here. And basically, this is gonna allow you to insert the arm at different levels. So if I wanted the arm a little bit higher, I just twist it there and it goes up there. I can lower it if I need to. For my sake, I like it all the way at the bottom and you'll see why in just a second. This, this is the actual arm. Now the arm has a maximum load of about 17.6 pounds. Uh, it likes somewhere between six and a half to 17 and a half. Uh, pounds. My laptop is right in between, so it works out quite nicely. Uh, you do get all the hardware you need as far as Allen wrenches because there's an Allen wrench to adjust the tension of this, the tension of this because the arm actually goes up and down, and the tension of this guy here that swivels it out. You also have, which right now I have it bolted in, but this slides right in here, and this is a VESA mount, V-E-S-A mount. This means that you could mount your, of course, your uh, iPad, or you can just put your laptop in here, and I'll show you in a second, or you can mount a full-size monitor. So let's say you have a rack mount computer, and you have it inside your case, and you wanna have a secondary monitor that slides out, you'll be able to do it with this. Now for those of us that use CompuShow, or some sort of DMX software that requires two monitors for best use, you could have, for example, your laptop, and then swing this one out with a second monitor right next to it. So out of a small coffin, you could host two or three different monitors there. That's one of the beauties about this particular one. Again, very well made design. So let's go ahead and put it together. Look how simple this is, ready? And you'll see there's also a little Allen wrench here. In case you have it permanently mounted, you can actually adjust the tension to keep it from swiveling around. I don't need it uh, to be super tight, so I just leave it in. It goes all the way at the bottom. And I actually, it, it can rest on here. You can have it loose however way you want, but without it resting on anything, it's still gonna hold the weight. It just managed to be right there where the foam piece is. And then I'm gonna put this wherever I like there. So I'm gonna kind of leave it here. Now to put my laptop, now, if you're not using a laptop, if you're gonna use this to hold your monitor, then obviously you don't put this shelf on. You just swivel this out, then you can put your monitor in or your iPad or whatever you need. Basically, you just put your laptop there. It's got a really cushy, it almost feels like it's sticky, but it's not. It's got like a really cushy, rubbery part, and that's gonna prevent your laptop from slipping around. But that alone isn't gonna do the trick. So you've got these little guys right here that slide in. And, there we go, you bolt it in and it's nice and secure. Now, one of the advantages about this one here is again, 
if you if you guys if you guys own Mac, you know that Apple gets very hot. You could cook an egg on the bottom of these, so this allows much better ventilation. But it's very secure. I have actually taken this arm, held it upside down with my other laptop. Wouldn't do it with my primary one, just to test it, and the laptop didn't fall out. So this really holds the laptop in securely. Um, but again, if for some reason you're like, no, I want something to hold my laptop all the way around, there's a gentleman, I believe Knut's his name, he took a like a little container from the container store and just modified it to go on there and this held it just fine so now his laptop is even more secure and that's something that he liked uh, but again bunch of different options I leave it like this it's not moving anywhere now I have the tension halfway through I can adjust it low if I need to or I can bring it up a little bit and I can turn it however I want personally I have it just like this here Last but not least, cable management. Something very important, especially when you have a laptop. I have, of course, my power for my Apple, and I have my USB, and I have my ghetto electric tape. And I use actually the electric tape, not because the power cord is bad, but to keep it from going bad. If you guys have a MacBook, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's actually like little, uh, it's like a bunch of little holes underneath. And all you gotta do is just slide it in there. Just kind of pops right in. This is great whether it's for mobile use or permanent. And then we just pull it nice and taut. There you go. So you have a little bit nicer of cable management if you want. And you don't like it like that, you can also go this way. But keep in mind, if you go that way and you uh, move your laptop too tight, you may wind up pinching it. So I will hold it like this because I'd rather have a little bit of a sag than a pinch cable. Because of the angle that the G-arm is on, if I turn it this way, it's going to tilt slightly. That's not a design flaw, that's just because I tilted it almost a perfect 90 degrees there. But even with the slight tilt, it doesn't really affect the performance of the arm or how secure the laptop is. But again, I can raise it or lower however way I need, which is super convenient. So again, the Gator G-Arm series, there's a couple different versions. Check them out. Again, I use the one that would usually go into their stand. If you don't know what version works best for you, talk to the people at Gator and they'll be happy to answer the questions for you because that's what they did for me. They were super awesome to talk to. So my name's Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances with another on-event review. Not a finished setting up. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.